Hatta means ha means sun, tha means moon. To draw directly from our parentage, essentially our parentage is sun and moon and planet. These are the three. The planet is the womb, sun and moon in some way are impregnating and this is happening. If there is no sun, there would be no life. If there is no moon, life wouldn't be the way it is right now, it would be probably some other way. So these three dimensions are playing an important role. So one aspect of hatha is to keep our parentage aside. My father, my grandfather, my… all these people, you keep them aside because ultimately all their lineage goes to sun and moon. You want to draw straight from that. That is what hatha yoga means. You bring such a balance that this intermediate transmission is lost and you draw directly from that as life was made. On the way, so much corruption has happened through millions of generations. You want to eliminate that and you want to draw straight from your father and mother, sun is seen as the father, moon is seen as the mother. As we have been many times looking at this, our mothers have had the eligibility to become our mothers only because they were synchronized with the cycles of the moon. Otherwise, they, wouldn't have, they would not be eligible to become our mothers. They could bear children only because of that. So, to directly associate with the original mother and the father in between, in yoga we say in between is all corruption. <laughs> all mix up genetic and other memories, you know, all kinds of things happened. Some might have been good, some might have been bad, all kinds of mixtures, we don't have control over that. So to draw directly from ha and ta, that is the sun and the moon. So, uh, the nature of Hatha Yoga is to gradually connect with the sun and the moon rather than you must… you must check this after you… after two and a half years of practice, sounds too long? Every day, two and a half years if you practice, if you simply close your eyes like this, you must be able to say, what face of moon is today? because it's so manifest in your system. A Hatha yogi, if he closes his eyes, he must be able to say, what face of moon? There are other aspects of the sun one can know, which is more complex. But at least the moon faces one must know within himself. This is completely absent in people. That means totally disaligned with the original source of our physical manifestation. So physical, is important if you want to do things in the world. If you just want to realize yourself and leave your body, there are other ways to do it. If it is just a question of realization, it can be done in so many ways. You want to be realized and you want to live powerfully, then hatha becomes an important aspect. Hatha Yoga is not something that you learn with your mind. It's something that you learn to imbibe through your body. Your body should become so alert and sensitive. Even if you're sleeping, you will soak in everything that's around you and you know what it is. So, to imbibe this, not to take it as a mental memory, but to take it as a physical memory. When I say physical memory, in terms of memory, your body is a much more reliable machine than your mind. If I ask you what happened yesterday, last twenty-four hours, what happened? You will see, if you try to meticulously remember with your mind every moment of what happened, it does not even remember one percent of what's happened in the last twenty-four hours. Am I right? Hmm? It does not even remember one percent. But actually, in a very unconscious way, your body remembers everything. Every smell, every taste, every sight, every touch, every sound your body remembers. 
It is just that you do not know how to consciously make it yield, how to make that memory yield into wisdom or knowledge, that has not been worked at. So Hatha Yoga is working your system in such a way that everything that your body remembers works to your advantage, not against you. So we've been saying this in many ways, your body remembers everything that's happened in thousands of years. So this memory, we want to make it into conscious memory, Hatha Yoga. The process of Hatha Yoga is that, that you make what your body feels into your conscious process, it's not an unconscious process. So that this becomes a powerful instrument of perception. If you walk into a place and you should know what's happening with your hand, not with your eyes. This body can become that sensitive.